Welcome to another episode of Konbini Quest. It's a series where I go to a konbini, which is a Japanese convenience store, and I hunt for some fun items to try. Today I got a, I got a few that I, I hope will be kind of fun. As you can tell, it's kind of raining here right now. I guess summer is officially over. Maybe some of you will be glad because that means no more cicadas. However, I do have a couple videos um, maybe I'll post them next week. I shot them last week <laughs> before the end of summer, so they're yet to come. Maybe I'll just try to bang them out all in a row. For those of you who did appreciate the cicadas. And yeah, I also have some interesting news about a few other channels that I kind of collaborated with recently. I'll give you a bit of a backstory behind that. But first, let's get into a few of these items. So the first thing I picked up is this. It is a Spam Musubi. <laughs> so it's basically a rice sandwich, I guess we would say. Um, you know, like an onigiri, but in this case it's filled with Spam. It's, it's kind of a Hawaiian theme, I guess, in Japan. They associate Spam and Hawaii, and they really love Hawaii here. So let's get into this. This was, where's the price? 230 yen plus tax for the Spam Musubi. So I'm not really sure what the difference between Musubi and on Onigiri is. If it's the same thing, it's just a different word for it. But uh, this says it has pork and egg and tuna and mayonnaise here. Seaweed, rice, egg, tuna, Spam, and rice seaweed on the outside there. So yeah, let's get into this. It's pretty hefty, I'll be honest. It's It's got some weight to it. So I don't know if you're a fan of these things. Oh, right away I can smell <laughs> the uh, tuna mayo coming out there. But, uh, I, you know, I sometimes get the onigiri, the triangular ones, but I never really get the musubi, I guess. Is that, does that mean the square if it's musubi? I'm not sure what the difference is, but... Oh! Okay, we got we got we got some issues already. Do I need to open it and show you what's in here? We just we just looked at it, right? But let me try to carefully show you a few of the exciting features here. There we go, spam. So I don't know what what's the deal with spam. I know it sounds like Jerry Seinfeld. What's the deal with spam? Some people like it, some people don't like it. For me, I don't really care either way. However, I think it's probably better like if it's fried or something that didn't really look it looked just like a slice of spam anyhow enough stalling let's get into this thing it's very <laughs> stick to your teeth kind of thing we got the it's it's cold it's all cold we got the rice tuna mayo tastes fine i mean I don't really taste the egg at all. And in there, there's this kind of hint of some sort of, you know, canned meat, I guess. That would be the Spam, wouldn't it? I mean, it's not bad. You gotta really be a fan of Spam to eat it, though. I don't think adding the Spam or the egg really adds much to what I would normally get as a tuna mayo onigiri. It's just sort of whatever. But hey, fun to try. But it did, it did make me kind of, kind of thirsty right there. So I also picked up this drink. You guys know I'm a fan of trying the Zone brand of energy drinks. They're not as, uh, as much energy. They don't have as much caffeine and stuff in them as like a Monster or a Red Bull. But they really have some fun flavors. This is called zone infinity gate and look at that can it's just white <laughs> you can barely make out the g i guess it's not really a g it's an on off switch the target market for these guys is kind of like the tech savvy crowd but as you may know from my previous videos the contents of these cans rarely ever matches the color this is white i mean i could see perhaps a sort of calpis type drink coming out of it but I won't be surprised if it's something totally different. So I got I got a cup here. Let's uh, crack this open and see what color it is. There. Whoa! 
Okay. I mean, I thought it was white at first, but as you can see, it's a little sort of off white, kind of like a cloudy apple or a peach kind of thing. Here we go. Cheers. It's very fruity. Um, there's hint, a hint of peach in there as well. Maybe it's some sort of peach punch, but it also seems to be mixed with a kind of, I wouldn't say milk, but you know, those kind of milky calpis type drinks. Yeah, actually this is really good. I really like this. It's very, very refreshing. So yeah, for the whole can, which is 500 mils, 75 milligrams of caffeine. Okay, let's get into the next item here, which I actually got as a 30 yen discount. Woohoo! So this was 213 plus tax 230. After the discount, I guess it's 200. Um, it looks like it's an exclusive to Family Mart. And I just saw it there and I'm like, oh, that's Unagi. But it's not quite Unagi, it's called Anago. Okay, so Unagi is eel. Um, it's really expensive and it's salt salt water no 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 wait unagi is freshwater eel anago is saltwater eel which i think not quite as fancy but it still should be pretty good so i don't know if any of you out there have tried eel before but uh it can be it can be pretty good so let's get into this okay this is more along the shape that i'm used to with an onigiri sort of little triangle <laughs> and then inside well we can see right there sticking out is the eel hmm I don't think the flavor is quite as rich can I say rich um, as unagi but this anago is pretty good too that said on a day-to-day -day basis, I think I would prefer the Spam if it didn't have Spam in it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just tuna and mayo. Okay, so next I've got my favorite brand of potato chips, the Calbee Pizza Potato. Um, this is a spicy pizza potato. It says here it's got habanero and of course it's got the cheese on each of the chips. Now at the start of this video I mentioned I had some news or some information to tell you well part of the reason I picked up the pizza potato is because there's a channel where I sent the pizza potato chips to as part of my package project they just opened that package it had the regular pizza potato some Cheetos uh, strawberry coke I think was in there and some Kit Kats do you remember I do this package project every single year like in the spring I guess early early spring well this package <laughs> was one that I asked you guys to to vote on people who I should send stuff to I didn't do it this year in 2021 but I did it in previous years so 2020 is when I sent out this package to them so yeah last year I sent out a bunch of packages do you remember uh, From the Hobbit Hole was one of the ones? That was a while ago, wasn't it? It was last, last summer. From the Hobbit Hole, I sent a package to that, on your recommendations. Um, and a channel, Joseph De Benedictus, the Canada versus America guy. Um, I sent a package to him as well. Well, that same time, I also sent a package to another channel called Men Try Videos, MT. V is what they <laughs> what they go with men try videos now some of you out there recommended all these channels to me which is why I picked them and so I'm sure some of you are familiar with men try videos already they're kind of like a slightly zanier <laughs> uh, version of Rhett and Link I don't know if I if they'll be insulted if I make that comparison but there are two guys that try almost anything you can imagine not just food related um, I'll put a link downstairs you can check out the video where they open my package which I sent to them in spring of 2020 so a year and a half ago <laughs> and you'll probably get some insight in into why they were complaining 
that the coke was a little flat. It took them a year and a half, which I thought, wow, that's that's long. But I also thought that was interesting. Like, <laughs> I don't know, I guess they're really busy over there. So I just want to say thanks to them for finally doing it. And I'm glad they mostly enjoyed it, I guess. Well, you'll, you'll have to go check it out. So I'll put a link downstairs. Please go check out their videos. And right now I'm gonna check out the spicy pizza potato to see if it's spicy at all. Here we go. So yeah, my favorite chips, they are covered. Theoretically, they are covered with globs of cheese. Um, I don't know if that's focusing at all for you or not, but I'm actually kind of disappointed. There's not really a lot of cheese um, stuck to these. I mean, they smell like the normal pizza potato. Let's give it a try and see if it's gonna be any hot at all. Yeah, I'm, re I'm really digging in this bag and I'm not really getting much cheese coverage here. So yeah, look, look at that. There's not much cheese on that one, is there? I guess uh, results may vary, yeah. I'm kind of disappointed with the cheese coverage on this. But the heat is kind of building a little bit. Um, it's not super, super hot. I guess for me, it's very, very tolerable. Perhaps a an unwary Japanese customer may find it to be quite hot. It still has the pizza potato spirit, I guess. <laughs> I was gonna say, it doesn't have the cheese as much as I think it should, but it still, you know, has the flavor of a pizza potato, but there's also a little, a little kick of something in there. Finally, not that I was worried that was going to be spicy, but I picked up some ice cream. I kind of wanted some ice cream. I don't know. <laughs> I just did. Um, but I knew if I just bought ice cream, it would melt by the time I got to the dessert part of this video. So I picked up the mochi ice cream a ball of ice cream wrapped in mochi. So with any luck, it will not have melted so severely. I can open the thing. Got all this uh, pizza fingers. Come on. Okay. So yeah, this comes like that. So I can't remember how much this was, about maybe $1.50 or something, I'm not sure. There are two pieces and it comes with a little fork. Would you say? Yeah, I'd call that a fork that you can stab it with and take it out. So yeah, it's just vanilla ice cream wrapped in a kind of mochi shell, I guess. Um, they, they have in the past made different flavored uh, mochi balls, but in this case, it's just uh, vanilla. Mm. That's really good. It, it had started to melt, but the mochi was holding it together. So, good job, mochi. So yeah, this is good stuff. This is the best way to enjoy a mochi. Okay, so that's it for this video. I'm gonna finish this stuff off and head on my way. I just wanna say thanks for watching. But uh, let me know if any of this stuff appealed to you at all. Um, there's a few things that I kind of really like, like the ice cream and of course the drink. I'm not sure if I would get the onigiri or the musubi again, but uh, as you know, I'm a fan of the chips. So when they bring out a new flavor, you know I'm gonna try that. So I guess I just wanna say thanks for watching once again. Please go check out the Men Try videos. Um, you will be entertained. <laughs> You'll definitely be entertained over there. And thanks to them for doing the unboxing for the 2020 package project. And uh, I guess we'll catch you guys in the next one.